Chris, would be pretty pretty amazing to use that out in eastern Colorado where we do see torna tornadoes happen. Yeah, and you're talking, like you said, five to six minutes now for a full mm -hmm. radar scan. Those tilt levels taking you up sure. in the atmosphere. This would bring it down if it comes to fruition and they start using it, probably down to about a minute. Wow. So, you know, quite a, a, a difference in time scale there sure. when you're looking at severe thunderstorms or rotating thunderstorms that might produce a tornado. Right now, we've got a few spotty showers out there this morning. A lot of this is missing the ground, but a few sprinkles are coming through. Uh, we saw a couple of showers here, and you might even be looking at a few snow showers up and over the higher terrain. Say Pikes Peak, you could be sitting uh, with a few snow showers up there. Some light showers down along the border there with Fremont and Teller County, and here into downtown Colorado Springs. It's pretty quiet. I just stepped outside. You want to get that ground truth as well. We don't have any rain showers here, but you go into that western side of I-25 and up towards Manitou Springs. Some light little showers here for the next half hour or so. Certainly you can see that with the cloud cover out there this morning. This is our Steve's paint supply camera. Right now we've got temperatures in the low 50s. Winds are light. Your relative humidity at the surface pretty low at 46 percent. 30s, 40s and 50s out across the plains this morning. Cold start to the day in Leadville with 32 degrees and it's 35 currently in Alamosa. Our winds are light here across the board. We've got 15 mile an hour winds out in Springfield, but light Canyon City, Colorado Springs and Pueblo. So as we work our way into the day today, it's going to be a pretty nice afternoon. We'll see more sunshine past the lunch hour into the afternoon and evening with highs in the low 60s around Briargate, 57 in Woodland Park this afternoon, 66 in Hanover and only the low 30s on the top of Pikes Peak. We get into the upper 60s and low 70s out across the plains for this afternoon. Max out at 49 in Leadville and 63 degrees in Walsenburg. And our future cast shows the cloud cover and a few of those showers that we're seeing this morning. That breaks up late morning into the afternoon. A few more clouds in the mountains out to our west. We might be able to eke out a shower over the San Juan Mountains. Other than that, it's going to be a pretty quiet day here across the state of Colorado. Still under the influence of this trough of low pressure. And we've got our next piece of energy kind of moving into the Great Lakes in Minnesota uh, over the next 24 to 48 hours. And that will bring in a reinforced shot of cool air for Friday. So Friday, it's likely going to be the coolest day of the next seven days with a good looking warming trend as we go into the weekend. Again, very little precipitation coming up on Thursday, mostly sunny skies after cool morning starts will warm up nicely tomorrow afternoon from Cheyenne out into Nebraska. A few showers and thunderstorms, maybe a couple clipping northeastern Colorado, but along the I-25 corridor, we are going to be on the dry side. It's cool tomorrow morning, cooler than this morning. We're down into the low 40s, Colorado Springs, 44 in Pueblo, 30s and 40s out to our east and the 20s and 30s out to our west up and over the mountains. Thursday afternoon temperatures max out at 67 for the springs and 73 in Pueblo. We get into those upper 60s and mid 70s out across the plains tomorrow afternoon and a mild 56 degrees in Leadville there above 10,000 feet. Seven day forecast looks like this. Coolest day Friday at 60. Overnight lows are chilly. Afternoon highs come up though. We're back to 77 on Sunday and 76 on Monday. Pueblo, nice afternoon. We're cloudy this morning, partly cloudy this afternoon. 73 and 64 for Thursday and Friday, but by Sunday and Monday and into Tuesday, we're warming back into the low 80s. Monument Palmer Lake, 55 is going to be the cool mark there on Friday. Good looking weekend. Sunshine 68 Saturday, 71 on Sunday. Those low 70s early next week. For Canyon City, you remain dry, a little cooler on Friday. That nice looking warming trend through the weekend. Close to 80 degrees Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Woodland Park, you're dry outside of a maybe a sprinkle this morning. If you're coming down Ute Pass, you might run into a light little rain shower. 55 and cool on Friday. Overnight lows in the 20s and 30s. We're up to 68 Sunday afternoon and 67 back to work on Monday. 